Hi everyone, so if you're watching this for the first time, my name is Marianne, I'm the owner and the counsellor at Marianne Hansen Counselling Service, where I work with couples and individuals. And as you know, throughout this year, I'm doing these Monday motivation um, videos. And it's partly because I, it's to replace really, because I was doing the book reviews every Monday. So I will also be doing live streams over on my um, Facebook pages, which are Marianne Hansen Counselling Service and my personal Facebook page, Marianne Hansen, where sometimes I'll be going live, but not every Monday. And I've already just done this as a live stream. So I'm just gonna make a shorter version for this, for Motivation Monday, because I think it really fits in with that. And that is staying focused and not allowing people to distract you. So yesterday I was on Facebook and there was um, a video it was of a boxer um he wasn't young he was like you know in his probably you know a young man i'd say then and he was about to get into the ring and it was all the atmosphere was there which is normally there with a fight and then his mother came out of nowhere and she was just with this fearful worried look on her face and she was kissing him and she was crying and she was very distressed and then she kept saying to him trying to grab him and say you don't have to do this you don't have to do this and then um, the discussions was what the thing uh, that followed afterwards was the thing that I was sort of focusing in on. So half of the comments were people saying that's what a love of mother is supposed to do. She was scared for her son and she doesn't know if she's going to see him again and he can have injuries in the ring. Other people were saying, you know, she's distracting him. Um, it's the wrong time, you know, and then there was a combination of a bit of both. So there were people who were professional um, sportsmen were um, chiming in and they were saying things like, they do find that as a distraction, but they give it grace because of the person, if it's someone close to them. Other people were saying it definitely would throw them off of, up, throw them off their game. Other people were saying they still can stay in the zone without that. So what I want to talk about really is related to that. How many times have you been on a path towards something or you know, you had an idea or a goal that you were set that you were going to do something and then something or someone has taken you off the path. Someone has come along and said, you know what, you shouldn't do that. They've put doubts in your mind. They've kind of made you second guess yourself. They've got either in an emotional state so that you feel you can't do what you were going to do. So you feel guilty. Over the years, I've spoke to quite a number of clients actually where they've been in these dilemmas where someone is using emotional blackmail or where someone is so distressed and emotional about a decision they're going to make that they've either um, gone back on that decision or they've made the decision and felt so guilty that they can't enjoy it. So it's usually things like when someone is thinking about moving abroad or if someone is thinking about marrying a certain person or not marrying them or if someone's thinking about I don't know, having children or all these big decisions, or sometimes it's just that you are on your path. People don't necessarily get what you're doing or where you're going or why you are choosing this um, decision to make. So they're trying to get you off the path. Now, it's not always through hate or it's not always people who don't like you. Some, in a lot of cases, it's actually people who care about you, but they're coming from their own agenda. Now, that's not even a negative thing, but they're thinking about themselves. I don't want this person to go and leave and move to another country because of how I'm going to feel. I'm going to miss them. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be upset. I'm not going to see them. They're not thinking about how that person um, is going to be feeling or what that person wants. So that's the point. Another person lots of times will not think about what it is that you're doing that is good for you. It's not their job to do that anyway. It's your job to stay on the right path, to stay on the right track and not be distracted. You have to be the one that sticks to your decision and lets that person feel how they feel. Let that person share with you, you know, their opinions and how much it, it's going to affect them. But it's your life. So the key thing is that people who care about you might be doing or saying things with good intentions, but they're not on your journey, only you are. You have to make a plan, you have to review it, adjust, re, you know, you can adjust it. But if you really want something, then you can't allow anything or anyone to get in the way of that. And that doesn't mean you have to be ruthless and say, you know, I don't care if I'm married, I'm gonna do this anyway. I don't care if my, um, if I've got children, I'm gonna do this anyway. You know, it's not that type of mentality where you say you don't care about your situation. You do care, 
But if you really have a passion for something or a desire, and if you're really on a path towards something, then you just have to have that mentality where the things around you or the things that are happening, whether it's in the world or whether it's in your, um, your inner world, that you can't allow those things to take you off track. So let me know what you guys think about this video. You can watch the live stream, which was probably over 20 minutes long on my Facebook page, which is my personal page, Marianne Hansen, and you'll get more from that. But also I will be here every Monday doing these Monday motivations. I hope you enjoy them. Leave your comments, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye.